One of the more interesting doctors here is Dr. Carlos Ramhel from Bogota, Colombia. And we're going to ask him a couple questions about spinal cord injury. First, Dr. Ramhel, when did you first become interested in adult stem cells for spinal cord injury? Mm -hmm. We are a group of, of uh, uh, neurosurgeons and uh, orthopedic uh, medical doctors. Uh, they were looking uh, for a summer treatment for patients with spinal cord injury. So they met, uh, we met Dr. Carlos Lima at uh, Lisboa and uh, he showed us all the, the project. So we, we started um, at the 2000, oh, uh, 2005 in Bogota with the first patients. Uh, we we uh, have right now 13 patients uh, operate with the, the olfactory mucosa stem cells. Mm -hmm. The problem was uh, that we didn't have a, a good rehab center, a good uh, rehabilitation center. Now, the, the reason Carlos is saying that is because all good spinal cord injury doctors that are using adult stem cells mm -hmm. know that the rehabilitation process is every bit as important as the stem cells. Yeah. And if you don't have a good rehab facility, it's difficult to get these patients to the maximum improvement. Yeah. Okay. Um, so here we are a, a few years later, mm -hmm. and uh, do you have any patients you'd like to talk about? Yeah, we have uh, three more important patients. There is a, a patient from uh, Chile. Uh, she is uh, an engineer. She had uh, her uh, her surgery uh, one year ago, and uh, after the surgery, she started uh, a intensive program of rehabilitation, and she right now is a. Uh, uh, beginning to move his legs. She has a contraction of his uh, thighs, especially the adductor muscles and the iliopsoas muscles. Uh -huh. The other important patient is uh, a, another female. Uh, she is uh, beginning to, to have a, con a, a sphincter contraction, mm -hmm. especially in the urinary is Finter. And the other one is a little boy. He's seven years old. He's uh, recovering his sphincters too. And uh, she, she, uh, he told us that he's feeling his legs, both in, in all of the legs. When you touch the children's legs, uh, he, he feels it. Now, Dr. Carlos Rangel is doing something not being done anywhere else, planning to start something later this year. Would you like to explain that? We're going to, to begin uh, a new uh, phase two study with uh, 10 to 13 patients uh, with a complete lesion of the spinal cord. And uh, we're going to make a, a, a protocol uh, starting with uh, three months of only rehabilitation program, intensive rehabilitation program, then they, uh, they are going to receive the surgery, and after that they're going to stay in a rehab center for three years, and we are going to evaluate monthly the um, the development of the surgery and the development if if we can find any recovery. So before you put in the stem cells, mm -hmm. you're going to three months of rehab. Yeah. Very strict, difficult rehab. Yeah. How old is the oldest patient of all the people? 35 years is going to be the, the 35 years one. is the maximum. Dr. Ranhel, I wish you the best of luck. We will stay in touch and okay. follow your progress. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.